For over 50 years, the U.S. government knew that smoking could lead to lung cancer. Since then, more than 8.5 million Americans have a serious illness caused by smoking. Despite this, no one was given authority to regulate tobacco until now. Dan Wald chooses not to smoke. Instead, he's an advocate of public health awareness. I choose not to smoke because smoking kills the um, majority of people that develop lung cancer in their lifetime. Um, smoked at some period during their life, um, over 90%, I believe, is the, stati the statistic. At the age of 15, Dan's mother died of cancer. Because of this, he never got close to trying a cigarette. But this is not the case for many of today's youth. Every day, 4,000 kids under the age of 18 try their first cigarette. And every day, 1,000 of them turn into regular smokers. These numbers are blamed on the tobacco company's ability to advertise to the youth. Every year, they spend $12.8 billion on marketing. In June 2009, uh, I President Obama, a smoker yes. himself, the, signed into uh, law a legislation I, I finally giving the FDA smoker, regulating no. powers over uh, the tobacco industry. I, I don't think that people understand the FDA regulated dog food, uh, macaroni and cheese, cosmetics, but no one regulated tobacco products. This is one of the most significant pieces of public health legislation passed in, in recent history, only because it really does give someone the authority to regulate tobacco for the first time ever. The new legislation restricts any form of advertising and marketing to young teens. It will also give the FDA authority to keep track and evaluate the ingredients found in tobacco products. They have to report uh, all the ingredients of the tobacco products to the FDA, um, including uh, you know, added substances that are considered addictive or any elements that are added to the tobacco product that uh, um, you know, are tested or known to, to be addictive um, substances. With the new regulations, tobacco companies are put under close watch. But still, the public health community think more could be done. But for now, they admit the new rules are a start towards the right direction. Public health community has been fighting for at least, I would guess, anywhere between 50, 60, if not more years. Um, I know I myself have been with the American Lung Association for 29 years. And during that tenure, we have always been fighting the tobacco industry. Today, the number of Americans who die from smoking or secondhand smoke is at 443,000 a year. The new legislation aims to bring that number down. For Ebru News, I'm Claire Selgin.